Hello friends, the season finale is upon us. My drivers are starting 6th and 12th. Jahan qualifying 12th and Pierre 6th. I have chosen a slightly attacking strategy. Let's see what we get. So far we have managed to hold our own. Let's just look at everybody else's strategy. Everybody around Pierre Gasly is on softs and everybody around Jahan Darugala is on mediums. So Pierre started 6th Pierre Gasly and is now 5th. What about Jahan? He has gone past Zhou Guan Yu and is in P11. Oh god, what now? Jahan is locked up. He's somewhere behind that barrier it appears. Oh dear me. Certainly destroyed the tires. 36 percent. Look at that. Dropped off a cliff. The tires there, and uh, there is a red mark on the. Uh, yeah, obviously we're gonna have to come in. So let's just fix, get that done. Yep, front wing major. Just two left. So I have to hope he doesn't crash again. He or Pierre, and we'll have to change the strategy now. Somebody is locked up. There's a yellow flag. Oh, there's a safety car. Okay, who is it? Fettel has got a penalty as well. Multiple cars crashed. DR is disabled. Let's recharge our batteries. And uh, let's set the pace from attack to standard. Save the tires a little bit. And harvest Jahan's is as well. Let's take a look at what happened here. Vettel is in. Oh, see, that is what I was afraid would happen to Jahan. Luckily, he just locked up and went aside and wasn't close to anybody in front to collide, to crash into another driver. That would have added five further seconds to the time lost on the pit stop, which is going to be the case with Vettel and poor old Alex Albon is out of the race. Jahan's up to 14th, thanks to pit stops rather than overtakes. That's fine. We take happy to take what we get. Now, multiple positions gained. Let's take a look at this. Let's wait for the replay. What happened here? He is up to 12th. Let's take a look at that from 14th at the end of a DRS zone, surely. Oh, I love this barreling past two drivers during the DRS. This is, of course, the second DRS zone, which ends in that long, fast corner, so much more challenging. Yep, that deserves a celebration. Fighting back, clawing his way back in towards the point contention in 12th now, and he will gain a few now because of these pit stops. Jahan Darwala now goes up to. That's still in 12th. Here we go. 7. Right there goes Gasly, meanwhile, past Carlos Sainz using the DRS. And back down to P5 as soon as the <laughs> DRS boot was on the other foot. Uh oh, safety car. Who's gone this time? Let's just first of all harvest and salvage as much as we can. Yeah, let's just pit. I wonder if we are too close to the pit lane entrance to achieve the pit stop here. We're on lap 25, 23 rather, less time lost in the pit lane during a safety car of course, as is the case, remember Ocon ended up in P13 after his pit stop, he was right in front of Jahan, Jahan ends up only in P8, it's a lot of time saved and plenty of safety car laps still to go, so I'm going to set the tires on conserve for all of them. Yes, is charged as well. Leave it to charge because it keeps on fluctuating. 
will the safety current yes it is ending this lap so let's set everything back these hard compounds should last us uh, should last Jahan Let's see what we get at the resumption of racing safety car and second safety car of the race already second crash of the race for Lance Stroll this time it was decisive Jahan has also crashed once remember as has Vettel into Albon taking Albon out Vettel is still there in P15 and my guys Gasly is in P5 and Jahan Darwala is in P8, lap 26 of an absorbing race. No, not again, Jahan, what happened? Safety car crashed. Oh dear me, two crashes in the same race. Now, this is really unfortunate. Nothing special is happening. He's just okay took Hamilton along with him as well so that's going to be a penalty oh dear oh dear John Darwala. oh dear me yeah that about sums it up We've got a penalty and a safety car second lockup in the same race I of course have to pit him check what needs to be done first what all is damaged if it's anything more than the front wing they would have retired him the okay, would have minor on the chassis in addition to the already minor damage that the suspension has taken so what do we do now we I guess will not change tires the mediums are already used up we'll just continue on the hides <laughs> in the hope that uh, we can perhaps use the soft tires later on if somebody else crashes but we have run out of front wings after this one no more crashes okay Jahan P16 with just one runner behind P6 and P16 started P6 and P12 over P5 and P8 and are down to P6 and P16 now. So it has not gone well at all. Uh oh, 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 what fresh hell is this? Gasly, no, retired. Uh, that's the end of the race for Pierre Gasly. Dear, oh dear. Yeah, oh, come on, man. It's been caught by Perez. So. Oh, okay, not Pierre's fault. Carlos Sainz locking up, receiving a penalty, taking Gasly and Perez somehow evades that chaos over there. Oh, well, this is a disaster. Poor old Pierre Gasly was doing so well. Six laps to go. safety car ends and I hope I managed to keep Carlos Sainz behind just as a punishment for what he did to poor Pierre Gasly there indeed here we go DR is enabled at the start of this lap now first DR is zone is three four five six corners away Sainz will have DRS where pretty much everybody has DRS thanks to these safety car resumptions except for Zhou Guan Yu who's in P5 and will be challenged by Ocon and here's, here we go another spin already there it is it is George Russell is it yes it is oh, God. So at least you didn't crash into somebody and my guy didn't crash into him either he is our first DRS trying to recharge as we go here's our second DRS 
We are in P7 by the way, thanks to George Russell's crash, who's poor guy down to P13 now. But hey, at least he's still running. Yeah, I'm not gonna forgive Carlos Sainz easily, and I certainly hope I manage to keep him behind Daruala for the remainder of the race. But it is quite a treacherous circuit, isn't it, by the looks of it? Four laps are also too many to go. Something might just happen once again. So many incidents have already taken place. Right, three more laps to go. All three will be with TRS for Jahan. Even if he doesn't manage to overtake anyone else, even if he does, even if he is overtaken by somebody else, notably Carlos Sainz, who is right on his tail. Norris is giving Ocon a run for his money. <laughs> Look at Ocon, he has had an interesting race as well. And he's up in P5, P6 now. There goes Norris past him. Good to see Carlos Sainz off the racing line so that if he does lock up, he's not going to crash into me from behind. Oh god. Deploy. Let's use up that battery. Let's use up the fuel. Of course, I'm not going to change that. 6.6 .6 laps worth of extra fuel. Now, remember, at the start of the race, we had less fuel than what we were going to need. Although we were running with a full tank, it appeared that the fuel efficiency was so poor that we might run out of fuel if we didn't get any DRS tows and if there were no safety cars. But there were safety cars abundant safety cars and plenty of DRS tools as well right till the very end as we can see can I get him past Ocon no, not this time pity that twelve percent battery remaining that will charge up on its own even in the neutral setup right here at this corner there we go and we'll get a nice drs as well here we go now and p6 for jahan how cool is that and of course signs also gets past ocon so i still have that threat looming over jahan once again Carlos Sainz's Ferrari seems to be drawn to the rear end of Alpha Tauri's tonight. But I'm going to try and keep him behind. Tire wear is now getting noticeable. There will be less grip on the tires, but track grip is very high, fortunately. I hear you, Jahan, but we're almost there, almost there, almost there. Last lap. No DRS for us on this lap. There will be a DRS for Carlos Sainz. If he gets past us on this one, we might just manage to fetch him let's just try this hold back cars behind apparently drivers need to be told that <laughs> let's deploy the battery and let's go last but one DRS zone for Carlos to try what he can let's see how this block cars behind instruction works decent this time there's that moon again smiling down on the chaos below no DRS battery left no tires left but luckily no more DRS zones left either and just a few more corners Jahan and you will finish sixth after being in just about every position 
in this race. Can he do it? Can he hold him back? Race is over as far as Leclerc, Perez, Verstappen are concerned. Here we go, last corner, and he has done it. Yes, well done, Jahan Laruala. P6, what a race, what a finish, oh my god. Oh, I am too old for this. P6, after stopping three times, two of them were changing the front wing. Two front wings changed during one race. It still finishes sixth. What a crazy end to an impressive first season for Jahan Darwala in Formula 1. That's the celebration that he deserves. He has seen it all today. Bravo. So too bad about these F2 drivers if when you select them in your team in F1 manager. They are always with the helmet. So I can't wait to see Jahan on the podium. Wondering if he will splash champagne on his helmet. That would be a sight to see indeed. So there we go. Started P12, finished 6th, gained 6 places. Guan Yu and Norris gained more, but they didn't have 2-3 pit stops. Guan Yu with just 1 pit stop, that has been a great strategy for him. But look at Jahan, 3 pit stops, 2 of them for changing the nose. I still can't get over that. At 8 points in the kitty what a crazy finish to the season Abu Dhabi delivers again as for the championships Ferrari won two on the driver standings and therefore the constructors winner as well in this particular save Red Bull comfortably ahead of the Mercedes and Pierre Gasly splitting them in the driver standings P6 would have been P5 if he hadn't crashed today in the drivers and scroll down to Jahan Darwala. not bad at all P 12th in the drivers standings at the end of the season which meant that Alpha Tauri finished all the way in P4 P6 was the target, which meant P7 was the expectation. P6 was the hope, but P4 is where we end up. 217 points. And plenty of improvement. One more development point for Jahan Darwala. And lots of money from the sponsors. He gets a bonus as well. $100,000 was part of his contract to finish 10th or higher. He has done that. A reminder of where we finished. 6th and 12th in the drivers can't get enough of it 4th in the constructors 6th and 12th in the drivers exceeded expectations of course and a midfield victory is the achievement let's improve Jahan's stats again breaking of course is where we keep adding those development points to begin with at least cornering is the next target then reactions that is what decides the race pace so those are the attributes that we leave Jahan with at the end of our first season here at the Jahan Darwala project hope you enjoyed it the craziness especially at the end lots of fun next time see you again bye bye